Good morning, my darlings. Welcome to a new vlog. Today has started like pretty much every other day. Charlie and I did a 35 minute workout, hence the slightly glowing complexion. Um, and I've just made our lovely morning smoothie, as per usual. We have also just had a DPD delivery and it is most of our garden furniture. So we ordered a couple of sun lounges and a parasol from Wayfair. And I know it feels like we're getting deliveries pretty much every other day right now, but it is because we are furnishing our home and obviously it's not always gonna be like this. Once we've got the garden furniture, we don't need to buy any more. So that's why there just seems to be quite a few deliveries right now, um, but I'm really enjoying sharing them with you and I hope you're enjoying seeing what we're getting and the little mini reviews that come along with it. I did a swipe up Instagram story to our white bistro set um, yesterday and so many of you bought it, which was incredible to see. I think it's a really good price for a cast aluminium um, or aluminum as the Americans say, garden set. Gosh, I'm still out of breath. Let me show you how it looks in its current situation. Sorry. I can't actually remember if I did show you this yesterday, so apologies if this is a very boring repeat. Um, but we've now popped a little pot of lavender on there as well. I wish I could remember where I got these plant pots from because I think they're absolutely gorgeous. They look really kind of antique, shabby chic, French style almost like a cracked effect they're so lovely so i've popped oh we've got a bumblebee so much wildlife in this garden um yeah so i think on the original instagram story i said they were cast iron but someone kindly corrected me they are cast aluminium which means they're a little bit lighter so you can actually carry them if you have a balcony um for example then this would be much better for you because cast iron is so heavy a lot of landlords actually say that you can't put cast iron furniture on your balconies but i'm so so pleased with this little setup and i did enjoy my pre-gym morning coffee here accompanied by you know who who is still protecting his treat eat it darling otherwise your brother will steal it from you or your daddy will <laughs> oh, waiting in the shadows so these two boxes are i believe they're called wooden steamer chairs um and there's a brand on wayfair that i really like it's called soul 72 as you probably know wayfair is literally like the most ginormous online retailer with loads of different things and I've bought a lot from them in the past. We've also got a parasol. Now I actually ordered two parasols from Wayfair. One is like a cream typical garden parasol which I think this one is but I've also ordered a really stunning ornate pink parasol which I think might also be arriving today via UPS and we should also be receiving the most bougie garden. Um, well actually I'm gonna wait for it to be a surprise because it really is the coolest thing ever and an amazing gift if you know anyone that loves gardening stop it i know that if i go for your treat you're gonna bite me look you're being very ferocious and it's not nice stop protecting treats you just have to eat it darling silly boy The umbrella is up and it is making for the perfect workspace. So now the table is partially in the shade. Charlie likes to get a tan, so his laptop and his chair is still very much in the sun. But I have got some more fabrics out. This is actually going to be my um, gardening patchwork as soon as the iron-on fabric arrives but I've just got the peony and sage brochure out to have a look at a few more fabrics because we've also got some armchairs being reupholstered for us that I ordered on Etsy they're absolutely stunning um, so I need to choose a fabric for that so we're also just looking through my other piles of fabric so this is where we're going to be for the next couple of hours getting some work done and we've got some very hot doggies sitting underneath where's your brother Mommy, don't talk to me. I'm so tired and hot. Yes, little boy. Yes, little boy.
So this is a delivery that Charlie and I have been so excited about. I have literally been checking my emails and my UPS shipment notifications every day. It was meant to have arrived on Friday, um, but I think the UPS guy doesn't do, like they don't go around the villages every single day. So it came today, which we are thrilled about, and it is from a website called Garden Glory. How did you come across them? I came across them when, basically, I was looking for new hose for here for one of the walls yeah. where the wall garden is and hose pipes are bloody ugly and I was like I actually at one point thought I've got a business idea although I've been beaten to it because so I was like we need one that will look really pretty on the red brick wall but that doesn't stand out in a nasty way and I found <laughs> this sage sort of sage green would you say? I think it's called eucalyptus that was my favorite color because yeah. it sort of blends in and it's beautiful and it comes with look it comes with this is even more impressive I think that we should do we should do a YouTube video. Ones. Things we are excited about now that we never thought we would be. <laughs> Washing machine. New hose pipe. <laughs> and this is the hose pipe fitting. Oh no, it just slides out like that. Oh wow look. That is stunning. That's the nozzle. That is absolutely stunning. Show the camera. So we now have a eucalyptus tell. coloured hose pipe with a gold nozzle. And wait How for it. How gorgeous is that? And of course, having browsed on the website, I fell in love with Wait for it. Hang on, it's this. Their pink hose pipe, just when I thought that I couldn't get any more excited about hose pipes, I saw a pink one. This really is. And look, and that's what it sits on. Yeah. And I mean, obviously it's not, uh, you can't wind them up like you can with some hoses, but I actually think for the wall garden, this is perfect it's gonna because it's gonna look really nice on the wall and you just unroll it, use it for the sprinkler. We're in need of a lot of water at the moment, aren't we? Mm -hmm. yep. Boom. I also think this would be a really lovely gift if... Um, has Mother's Day happened in the US already? I'm not sure, but Father's Day is coming up, and I'm not being funny, yeah. but the green one, Dad would love that. Yeah, or if it's your mum's birthday, or a sibling, or someone that you know that loves gardening. What an amazing gift. I am thrilled. Absolutely thrilled with this. And just because I thought a pink hose pipe is so ridiculously extra, why not go the whole hog? So wait until you see, this is gonna be controversial, this is gonna be like Marmite, wait until you see the fittings that I chose. <laughs> oh my goodness. So this is gonna be a pink hose pipe with leopard print fittings. And I know it's really crazy, it's really over the top, but I thought for our rose garden, it's just gonna look so ridiculously extra. So, yeah. And I did get pretty carried away on the Garden Glory website. They have the most stunning things. And we also saw these incredible cushions. I haven't actually sat on it yet, so I will soon let you know the comfort factor, but they look so comfortable. Charlie's just flopping down a little bit. They've actually got these elasticated sections on the back so they sit upright on your chair. They look like a clam, clam shell when they're shut, but I think they just look like the most beautiful flower when they're open. Let's see, yours just needs straightening up a little bit. For some reason yours is a bit floppy, darling. It's one of the craziest things. <laughs> Rude. I was just thinking. While I've been getting excited about pink hose pipes and floral cushions, Charlie has been getting excited about... Pots. Pots. I ordered these ages ago, so I ordered them when we first moved in. Yeah. Um, from a website called Sarah Raven. Okay. So basically we got those pots there from Cox and Cox and we ordered them and we love them but little negative shout out Cox and Cox's delivery service is shocking. <laughs> shocking. Mm -hmm. And um, this one was from Sarah Raven. Oh. And then this one. Um, and they are, I mean I think they're originally like, obviously they're not original but originally they were called dolly tubs and they were used to wash clothes in. That was like the design. No way. What you'd wash your clothes in. Interesting. Um, How do you wash your clothes tonight? Like that. But um, I am going to be hammering a few. With all these tubs, you've got to be careful, but I just do a few little holes because there's no drainage on this. Right. And then we'll use some really good terracotta at the bottom. But they also sell really nice aged terracotta oh, pots. Oh, nice. Which are really good, I would say, for... This was a set of three, and then I think I ordered this one separately. Right. Um, some of them are going to go on the herb shelf. Can you Even, remember where the um, the pot that you put the lavender in that's currently on the booster table? Do you remember where that's from? Yeah, I'll tell you exactly where we bought that. We yeah. bought that, you and I bought that, at a garden centre when we were with Clive and Jamie. You know we were talking to them earlier? Yeah, but yeah. which one? Or near Ross. 
really? Yeah. They're so cute, aren't they? We bought they? it in that weird garden, you know the one, your mum will know the one. Um, Quite an attractive garden, so I mean we're talking like seven years ago. Yeah, I just love and them so much. we have house one. Um, yeah. But anyway, yeah, so that's, because we're going to, sadly, this part broke, didn't it? Um, yeah, one of our pots we lost to the wind. So, and it's a plant we've had for a while. Oh, I'm, I'm so sad. It such, it was like my favourite pot. I'm so sad. And it was expensive as well. I love how these chairs look and this umbrella. We have had a good day for home unboxings. So exciting. And I think we still potentially have a parasol still to come today. It's got a bit of a lean on it because our um, umbrella stand is designed for slightly wider brollies. I was actually expecting this to be wood, but it's actually metal, which I think is why it was so affordable. But um, it looks absolutely brilliant. And I think the cream is gorgeous. It's also uh, like a polyester material so we could even take it off and wash it. In fact, you can definitely take it off and wash it. So that is fab from Wayfair. Um, look how gorgeous it looks with the blue sky with the puffy clouds. Right, I need to get back to doing some work. Just before I sit down to work, these are the Bloom and Wild flowers and they are now fully blooming and how gorgeous do they look. Literally every yeah, single flower in here. What, darling? They're blooming lovely. Blooming lovely, blooming well, they're not wild. They're as good as my ones, though. Oh, my hand kept ones. They're starting ones. to look a little bit shriveled. Do you know what that shows, though? What? Because they were fresh from the garden. Yeah, but, but they had already bloomed in the garden. No, not all of them. Not all of them. They've not lasted very long. Peonies that come in these sort of bunches last a lot longer. I wonder if it's they've met their hardier plant or something. You have really caught the sun. You but look like know. a hot dog. But I don't know. Isn't that strange? Well, these, these two had bloomed already, but well, these two. When Bloom and Wildflowers arrive, they, they haven't opened yet. Like, they're completely... And you didn't bring them in as bulbs. These these ones were... Look, well, there's bulb. I guess there's a bulb there, look. Yeah. And here. We shall see, but these are just looking gorgeous. I don't know what these are, if anyone knows. It's not a foxglove, is it? No. That is just absolutely stunning. Flowers make me so, so happy. We started to rescue any little flowers that snap off as well. So Charlie found these that had snapped off around the corner. So we've lovingly put them in some water just to add a little bit of colour to our kitchen table. We have just had the most insane delivery. Honestly, I think this is the most impressive delivery ever. You know where it's come from? Where? London. It's come from um, London. Wild at Heart. Oh my We've goodness. Actually come out and look, I can see already, this is from Nawaki, my favourite <gasps> brand. No way. What the hell? This is unbelievable. Is it's, it from um, Molten Brown then? It's from Molten Brown, yeah. For oh my God. a masterclass I'm doing with them tomorrow. This is wow. insane. This is wow. unbelievable. And this brand... Can I have a look at this? Yeah, of course. Two seconds. It's a new eau de parfum. What it's is it? probably more feminine. Flora Luminar. <gasps> Luminare? Luminar. There's no accent. Molten Brown fragrances. I feel like Molten Brown underrated. are most known for their candles, but their fragrances are underrated. Are but... incredible. Should we open them up and have yeah. a sniff? <gasps> but oh, I think excited. underrated is the word. Because yeah, what's that I one that you love? Uh, Oud Accord. Is it Oud Accord? Yeah. And honestly, it's one of my favourites. And people are always like, wow, that smells amazing. And obviously, Molten Brown is premium and expensive, but it's better value than some of the other brands out there. Yeah. And it, it's a proper Oud de Parfum. Wow. I'm going to put my camera on a tripod because I want to take part in this unboxing. Look at that. Oh, that smells yeah. incredible. That's a fragrance you'll love, I think. Wow. How That's do you? What are you doing? How'd you do it? <laughs> what a doorknob! That is one of the most divine things That's I've ever smelled. That's a beautiful smelled. fragrance for you. That is so you, isn't it? Wow. So this, Ooh. I have just sprayed this and it is, wow, that lighting is awful. <laughs> I don't have any makeup on today. Uh, this is called Floral Luminaire and oh my gosh. Luminaire? Luminaire? I think Luminaire. That is one of the nice, <gasps> How nice Seriously, are they? this is continuing on the theme. Is this all in one vlog? Yeah. Things that I get excited about that a year or two ago 
if you told me I get excited about, I'd be like, nah, never. Second these pass. are yeah, but these are just for flower. These are literally for flower pruning. That's exactly what we need. I know, and these are amazing. And you could even use these for trimming herbs. Oh my goodness! Epic. And Nawaki is such a good brand. Molten Brown. They've nailed you this. Have... Bloody hell! Wow. And do you know the other thing? Look. Dear Josie, please find within all you need to create your very own floral luminaire inspired hand tied bou bou bouquet with Nikki Tibbs from Wild Nick at Heart. Nikki Tibbles, no? Tibbles, yes. Um, we look forward to seeing you at 11 a.m. on Tuesday, the 2nd of June. That is tomorrow. We cannot wait to see your creation. And what's this? I don't Other know. Than this. Yeah. And look, this yeah. could be really, really, really nicely repurposed. In Herb our garden. Cupboard. Oh, yes, yeah. Yay. God, I'm very excited. I'm not even taking part in this, I'm just gate crushing. You can help me. No, I'm not so bothered about the flower arranging, I just do flowering off the cup. Look at, look though, at these flowers. These oh are another level of spectacular. Any ideas what this is? Wow, we need to get them in water, don't we? Because if they've come all the way from London. Yeah, I don't know what that is. I think it might, it might be mentioned, is it? That's the plant though, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, that fragrance is so cool and amazing. Before well, I think you should out. just put these in water then. Here, so look. Do you know what I'm going to do? I think... Oh, no, this is big enough. Oh, I think it's eau de toilette and eau de parfum. Darling, I just told you that. I was too distracted by the flowers. So there is also a matching glowing body oil. Ooh. In the range, I'm gonna smell like a dream. I'm so excited for this workshop tomorrow. How cool! And these are, I mean, I'm pretty excited about these, to be fair. Wow. <coughs> Which, oh, gold bathroom in the bathroom that we're currently yeah. in. <gasps> Glowing body oil. Wow. Mm. Here's your um, string, which is also very useful because we need that for the garden. Yep. Oh my gosh, smell my own. Oh yeah, that does smell nice. This is so Keep the tissue lovely. paper. All can be repurposed. Mm -hmm. Even that can be repurposed. Nice bag. Boom. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, so it came with the bars. Yeah, a lot, yeah, a bit like... But you know, we like. just have to plonk them in there for now because I'm doing proper yeah, flowering tomorrow. Red, red yeah, red yeah. fuse. That is absolute heaven. Wow. Do you know what? Let's put this next to the beautiful molten brown candle we've got in the bathroom down here because it's really nice after you've been in the sun. You know, you come into the bathroom, you wash your hands and then to put a little bit of that on your body to moisturise yourself while it's really hot outside. Yeah. Is it a spray? No, you put it in your hands. Gorgeous. This is too incredible. Whew. Divine. Oh, we got a spare bucket here as well, Char. Just wanna dance, want a simple romance, nothing more, nothing less from you. Just stay the night, then we leave when it's like nothing wrong, it's alright with you. We're just gonna have a little toodle around the garden. Oh, I know. I don't know what we can reuse those for because they're so pretty. Well, you know me, darling. I'll find a way. I'll find yeah, something to reuse they. them for. Um, yes, yeah, so we're just gonna figure out where we're going to put these. We've also had the wisteria chopped back, so it's looking wonderfully neat and tidy over in the coach house. Looks fantastic. Looks brilliant. And apparently after it's flowered you can chop away to your heart's content and it might even double bloom this year because we've um, chopped it back so much. Think, Where are you thinking for these by the way? I think the reason is by the way wisteria, my belief is you shouldn't chop it back in the heat of summer but it's fine once it's flowered to chop it back to that point. And huh. as I say it will reflower and hopefully the one on the right will help now because the one on the right is struggling. Yeah it was, it was. but other. actually it looks quite fresh and juicy now. Yeah the one on the right will, will come will come back it was just almost overrun by the other one because they're yeah. two separate plants and now we can actually fit our car in the garage which is wonderful because it was getting so hot in there yeah. yeah yeah i have actually had a few people saying josie cover your number plate but i did some research and you, i mean there's nothing really that people can do like, there's, right. there's there's not really a security risk and we, we've got loads of cameras so yep 
back. Okay. Um, right, well, so strategy. Mm -hmm. So we, I think we need a more industrially, roll, like one on a huge roll hose pipe for the main hose pipe round there. You know, round, round, round the, the corner. Main, main bit of the house. Yeah. Because it needs to be able to reach all parts of this garden, so it needs to be crazy long. And it needs to be really convenient to roll up. There's ones that are even electric, power, battery power that you hit and it rolls it up. So that's round there. Round here is where we want the prettier ones, which I think are primarily more for sprinklers. Primarily, yeah. these are used more for sprinklers. Like yeah, we're using them for but them. also like hand, hand, what, well, hand yeah, we sprinkling. Yeah, we will use the hand, yeah, but just for the little pots and stuff. Yeah. I think the green one looks great over here to replace this grim hose one. Okay. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Well, obviously, we will need the thin bracket fitting. Quite camouflage. Well, you think the pink one should go there? I mean, that does look seriously cute. Well, do you know and then what? it's quite close to the rose garden. Here's a proposal and a strategy then. Yeah. Pink one here, mm -hmm. which is perfect because I think it will probably be a similar length to this, right? Yeah. And then this one against the coach house. Okay. So look, this will, I think, look really. We, we don't want to put a hose pipe there, A, because we don't want to be drilling into 14th century stone, stone. yeah. Um, and B, because I just think it would ruin the aesthetic slightly. Yep. Um, I think over here, because this bit of the garden here needs, especially as of right now, we actually need a sprinkler on this lawn. Yeah. Because this lawn is struggling. Like it is dry over here. I just worry about dragging that beautiful hose pipe over the gravel. It's going to happen wherever you put it. So. Oh, that yeah. looks adorable. That is actually so beautiful. Be that looks stunning. And it will be on the, with the gold. Yeah. Thing. And then obviously if we get more pots here or pots around here, you can then do it with the hand pick. That is exactly like absolutely. That. That's the motion that you do. Right, That's darling. That looks really <laughs> rude. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> that's not getting edited out darling oh. yeah that looks divine that actually looks so stunning there yeah i'll just stand here then i never thought that i would say that about a hose pipe but that actually looks incredible well i've got to take credit for all of this because i found this brand and i think it's bloody genius i'm amazed that no one that has i'm amazed there aren't more brands because look i mean come on hoses are bloody horrible yellow why do you want to have yeah. yellow hose Maybe we should take out a share in this company. I, I, I think this company's going to go places because it's bloody genius. Yeah. Um, and obviously on that lovely, uh, lovely stand. Do you call yeah. It? That looks gorgeous. Great. Well, I can put it here then, can't I? Oh, it's just so cute. I even want to take a picture of it just there. I know. With our old school watering can. Plan is this is going to have lavender in, but we've not got the plants yet. Yeah. Um, oh. I think this looks cute as well. It's absolutely adorable. Great. Yay. Dapple doggy in the dapple sunshine. Dapple doggy in the dapple sunshine. That's become your new song, my chicky lean 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 chicky owlin. Does anyone else call their dog everything other than their dog's actual name? This little boy, his official name is Dickens, but you probably don't even know that because he's always called Dicky, Chicken, Chicken Nugget, Chicky Lean, Chicky Lin Lin, Lin Lin Chick. What other nicknames do we have for Chicky? Chicky Aou. We never call him Charles Dickens. I call him Charles sometimes. Dicky, Dick Dick. Chick Chick. Chicky, because he's Tricky Dicky. Chicky Dicky. Oh, he's just the best. And he, because right, he's how not. How long do we think it's going to be before Dexy comes and joins? Where probably is Probably about 20 seconds. Where is he? Because normally he has this sixth sense. <laughs> and also, him? we like to make up songs about our doggies. What songs do we have about Dicky? His name is Little Diggy. He finds most things quite tricky. His brother is quite picky. And the last verse is a little bit rude. Yeah. His bottom is always... Sticky. Yeah, cause because he does... He does it's yeah, but it's because his, uh, his hair is so different to Dexter's. <gasps> you are just the best dog in the world. No matter Dexy and you His are brother's you. name is Dexy. Is he finds most things perplexy. Dexter, where's your brother? Perplex. Daddy, will you stop it? You're embarrassing me in front of all the other doggies. Teeth. Have a look at these teeth. 
My teeth are not so healthy, no, Daddy. We need to brush your teeth, young we chap. We need to take you to the vet. We need to brush your teeth. He's like a giant teddy bear. You're yes. not even a doggy, are you? You're a teddy bear. No, I'm just a meerkat. I'm gonna compare the meerkat. Dexter! Dexter! Shh, don't shout. Dexy! I have got 14 minutes until my video goes live. So I'm gonna have 14 minutes sitting in the sunshine. For now, I've just popped our Sainsbury's um, cushions on the Wayfair wooden deck chairs. This one Charlie needs to have a little look at because it's actually come undone somehow. But this looks incredibly comfortable. And I'm going to savor these 13 and a half minutes of relaxation. No It is now that beautiful golden hour time of day so I have popped a little bit of makeup on and done something with my hair and we're going to take a few photos around the garden. I am just loving creating content here in the house and especially at this time of day the lighting is so so perfect. I wanted to get some snaps of our beautiful blooming wildflowers which are fully blooming and also the lovely garden um, chair cushions. I post them on my Instagram stories just now and oh my goodness, I had so many questions about them so I thought I'd take some snaps for the Old House Our Home account. Um, if you're not following it, give it a follow. We're posting so many snippets of the house over on there and I've just popped on this little dress which annoyingly has a bit of a design flaw in that the sleeves and the waist belt are way too tight and I know it's not just me because I've had a few of you guys message me about it as well uh, having the same problem so yeah definitely size up with this dress but I do absolutely love it so I'm just waiting for Charlie and then I want to take quite, kind of like a Stepford Wives type of you know vintage glamour kind of shot with the hose pipes I just think that'd be so cool um, and I'm sure I might be one of the first influencers to pose with a hose pipe as an extra. Can't get over how gorgeous these flowers have turned out. They are so stunning. I'm desperate to get a gorgeous photo with them while they are in full bloom. So we finished taking our photos and we had a lovely dinner. And now I'm just sat outside doing the editing. I've just popped on this lovely cashmere throw over my shoulders. It's from a company called Brody Cashmere and it is the perfect thing at times like this when it just starts to get a little bit nippy in the air and I think it is just so elegant and lovely. It's like, um, I don't know, like a cape in its shape and it's just absolutely gorgeous. So I'm gonna end the vlog here darlings. I really hope you enjoyed today's vlog. So many lovely unboxings but my favourite has to be these cushion covers they are so so comfortable so yep i'm gonna tune out now charlie and i are gonna do our evening mooch around the garden with the dogs and i shall see you tomorrow bye <laughs>